All praise and glory to the Almighty God for another time in His presence. I want to welcome everyone watching us tonight to another episode of Living Couple. Living Couple talks about marriage. We deal with issues of marriages. And someone said, where you find love, you find life. Marriage is all what we talk about here. We talk about husband and wife, how their marriage can get better, how it can be sweeter, and how it can work in line the way God had created and ordained marriage. I'm not here alone. I'm going to be the presenter, and also I'm going to be on a hot seat at the same time. <laughs> My name is Oluwato Olalekon. I will be the presenter tonight. I'm also here with someone very special that you have been meeting. He's our guest tonight, and he's no other person than Pastor Tokumbo Areola, all the way from Revival Arena, Lagos Province 55. You are welcome, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for coming on Living Couple. Um, he's, he's a zonal pastor in the Regent Christian Church of God, and he's also a marriage counselor. If you're watching for the very first time, this is Living Couple where we talk about marriages. Issues, we discuss different issues that concerns marriage. And God has been helping it, you know, using this program to touch lives as some of you have been testifying. And I know that for those that still have some little issues, yours will not be a difference in Jesus' name. Amen. For those that are watching for the first time and you have been, you know, thinking, oh, I've missed some episodes. We have different, um, some of our past uh, editions they are on our social media, on YouTube, on Twitter. You can like us on Facebook. Just check all the media. And also we have wonderful programs from the Redeemed Christian Church of God. We have our Father in the Lord, Daddy Adeboye and Mommy Adeboye, Folu Adeboye. You know, they have the messages. You can watch us on all the social media on Dove Television. And I know God will bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Amen. And if God lays it in your heart to sponsor any of our programs, you, you know, it's, 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 it's something we can advertise. Maybe you have a, a school, you have a program, you have a product, you have a program coming up and you want to uh, let the world know. You can, you can hear it here on the Dove television. And um, when we, our, our, the program is going on, you will see a number. You know, you can call any of this number and they will attend to you. And as you do that, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Now, mm. before we start all things, the beginning of all things, we start with prayer, prayer and I will ask Pastor to please pray for us. Shall we pray? Daddy Lord, we thank you for this privilege. Thank you, Lord. You are giving to us all to be in this program, watching and viewing. We are indeed grateful. Daddy Lord, please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says the entrance of your word give it light and give it understanding to the simple. Amen. As we'll be, you know, digging into the word of God making attempt to answer some questions. Holy Spirit divine, please walk through us. Amen. Take perfect control. Amen. Let there be succor. Amen. And let there be answers to all the questions. Amen. At the end, we'll end this program with joy in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I know some of us will be wondering, oh, what is happening? We are not seeing Pastor Femi. We are not seeing uh, Mommy Gold mm -hmm. here tonight. Um, duty calls, and they are unavoidably absent. But I assure you, next time on another episode, you're going to see them, God willing. But I know that God is here with us. Amen. What matters most is where God is. Yes. When God is with you, all will go well. Yeah. So not to worry, God will answer your questions tonight. Amen. And there will be peace in those stormy homes in the name of Jesus. Amen. So before we continue, I want you to please share a word with us. Yes, I've been led to uh, letting us look at the responsibilities of parents, especially the father in the home because it's very very important because to whom much is given much is expected responsibilities as a as a parent you know especially the father to your child in particular i'm i'm just going to take that text that popular text proverbs 22 6 proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 which says train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it when he should go, go, he will depart. not depart from it. Mm -hmm. You know, the parents, they have a responsibility to train that child mm -hmm. because you are not truly really the owner of the child. 
the Almighty God has given that child or those children to mm -hmm. keep for him. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you have a responsibility to train that child. Mm -hmm. And when we're talking about training, we have a good example in the Lord Jesus in Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Mm -hmm. Luke 2, 52, because it manifested in the life of Jesus because he was given good training. In our homes these days, in fact, in all the world over, um, we're having serious problem in the area of, you know, training, training children. of children. Yeah. You know, in that uh, passage I, I spoke about, Luke 2, 52, the Bible mm -hmm. said, Jesus increased in wisdom, mm -hmm. fourfold growth mm -hmm. in wisdom, mm -hmm. in stature, in mm -hmm. favor with mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. and man. Mm -hmm. uh, talking about wisdom, the Lord Jesus grew mentally. Talking about stature, he grew physically. Mm. Talking about with God, he grew spiritually. Yeah. And then talking about man, he grew socially. Mm. So, you know, in all this food, and you need growth in all these areas. Mm. It's not only in the physical, it's not, you also need to grow socially, socially yeah. with people so that you'll be able to reach out. Mm. The reason why the Lord Jesus was able to break that barrier mm. in that passage when that woman said, How is it that you, a Jew, you are coming to, to bring the gospel to mm. me, the Samaritan. the Samaritan. The Lord Jesus was able to break that barrier mm. because he grew socially. socially. And I want to believe of the good um, uh, uh, upbringing mm -hmm. yeah. that was given to him. Mm. A lot of barriers will be destroyed because when a child is growing, if you know uh, the proper training has been given to that child, yeah. that child will grow in that way. Mm. And by the time it is time for him to you know, to, to get married. Mm. Uh, it's just little, little things you will need to learn more mm. because he has learned mm. it right, right from, from, from infancy. Yeah. So as a father, you have a responsibility, not only in uh, these areas the mother, mentioned, too. the mother too. Mm. Like the, the issue of education is very, very important. Yeah. Um, I had to go to court. Once in a while, we need to go to court and see what is happening. Mm. I had to be in court one day, and I discovered that I don't know of any other country, but in Nigerian constitution, if you give birth to a child, mm. you don't give education to that child. You are liable two years. Mm. It's in the constitution. But many people don't know that. It's ignorance. Mm. And so where I'm really going is, for instance, if your income is let's say thirty thousand naira, mm. and you already have three children, and you are desiring to have more, don't mm. you think you should? You it's think about it because you have, you have a responsibility to train that. I pray that the Almighty God mm. will give us deeper understanding so that we don't fail in this regard in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for that word. It's a word to all parents out there to see through the training, the development of our children. You know, like many people say, like some women will say, you just have to give back to all the eggs. Mm -hmm you know, inside of you, so that a woman can be okay. That is the, the false um, message some people pass around. Exactly. And some just give birth to children, and they say children are wealth. So you just give birth to them. They don't care yeah. how that child lives or how that child survives. So, but we are being told that we are just caretakers. God owns those children. And what our responsibility is, we should not shy away from it. We should educate those children. We should let them grow. Some people educate children, but they, they, have, they don't talk about their social life. They don't talk about their spiritual life. They just go moral and focus more. The moral is down. Yeah. There is nothing that concerns them more yeah. than just facing the education. A child must be balanced, both balanced, physically, balanced, spiritually, balanced. morally, socially. Everything yeah. must be balanced. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. I want to Amen. say thank you once again. Thank you, ma'am. In Jesus' name. Amen. So tonight we have some questions, we won't be taking any calls, we're going to be answering questions, questions that we have that have been sent down so that we're able to answer and tackle some of those questions. And um, the first one I have here tonight says, good evening living couple, what can I do? My husband is not capable in the area of sex and I am a Christian. Whenever I'm telling him, he just pretend. Please, what should I do? He comes home once in a month from where he's working, what should I do? Once a month, mm. that's, that's not the reason why the Almighty God instituted marriage. Mm. Like I always tell people, when you attend any wedding ceremony, mm. 
they normally announce mm -hmm. the reasons for marriage. Okay. And the number one reason is for mutual fellowship. Mm. And you take it away from marriage, that, that marriage will collapse. Mm. And so I don't subscribe to uh, the husband coming home once a month. Uh, why do you want to leave your wife in, hmm. the, in the cold? Hmm. For a month? For a whole month? So in a year, he comes home 12, 12 times. times. That is, that is abysmal. Hmm. Um, husband, please repent. And what is the woman going to do? We always say you have to pray. Mm. Again, we must look before we leap. Mm. And that's why I always refer to those who are going into marriage. Those who are going to marry. Let us look at all these things. Some people want to get married. Somebody uh, asked me a question. He said, I don't want my pastor to know. You want to marry and your mm. pastor is not in the know of it mm. and you are going into a relationship. By the time you have problems okay. like the this, you bring it back. To, as far as God is concerned, your pastor is the representative of God. God. Mm. And the Bible says so. Is the, is the one that is answerable. Is the one that is responsible to you. Mm. So if you want to marry, you've got to carry him along. Mm. He has one or two things to say, mm. guiding you with the word of God. So particularly this mm. question, you have to pray. And if um, you are, I want to believe you are Christians, you also invite, uh, bring in a, a matured, maybe your pastor, you can talk to him prayerfully. But more importantly, the battle will be won on your knees. Mm -hmm. There is nothing God cannot do. The Bible says there is nothing that is given to man mm -hmm. except it be released it's from heaven. heaven. And so if you connect with heaven, mm -hmm. The Bible also says that uh, the heart of the king is in the Lord's hands mm. as the waters of the sea. He directs them wherever he wills. Mm. So God can direct the heart of your husband to come home often and uh, everything about your, your marriage, all these challenges will be a thing of the past. Mm. Thank you so much, sir. Please I also want to add to it. You know, she's complaining that the man is okay. maybe they're having sexual problem. problem. And there is no way it won't be like that. Because now you say the man comes home once in a month. If he comes home once in a month, the question is, how long does he stay? Is he staying for a week? Is he staying for two weeks? Or is it just a weekend or just two days? And things like that. Then, the, you know, maybe when he comes home, he's tired. Yeah. Uh, the man, you know. But definitely the man should miss his wife. But I feel the wife has not communicated enough with the man. Because she's... Uh, having a sexual dis dissatisfaction. But as she talked to this man, you need to sit the man down, talk to him, if, he, if you know better. Or was it even in the agreement? Did they both agree? Mm. Or could it be that the man uh, got a transfer and they both agreed? Maybe or could it the be man, the yeah. man is abroad? We mm. have some people like that yeah. staying abroad. They come home yeah, but, once but, a I, month. but this one coming once a month, will it be? I don't think it can be an abroad person. Ah, it's, it's possible. possible. Well, it's possible. But at the same time, too, if they are having, I think communication is what I still see that is really lacking in this. And if you know that you are not happy with your sexual mm. life, why don't you talk it over with this man? Mm -hmm. And maybe it's a man that does not know how, and you know better. We have said this severally on this um, um, uh, living couple that you can teach the man. You can tell the man where excites you. You can ask the man where are those areas that excite you, so that when you touch the man, the man gets excited. You, he touches you. You know those things can. It doesn't. If the man does not know how to do, I think he's just trying his best to. Mommy, to, there's, to, a, there's a fundamental problem. If mm -hmm. a man has been away from home for one month. When you are coming home, you should you, be excited. You are looking for yes, to that's see the, the right wife. Word. Yeah. No, in a situation where you are not excited. Mm, something I don't want to believe that the man is having a strange woman mm, outside mm. that is that has been uh, Keeping occupying him. him. Well but she's not saying the man is denying denying her sex. But she's saying she's not satisfied with the way the thing mm. is, you know. She, she can't so, be satisfied if the man comes home once, once a in month. a month. Because sometimes we be when she wants the man and the man is not there. I, I think, think fundamentally mm. they have they have the couple they have missed the reason for marriage. Mm. And you know, uh, when uh, they are conducting marriage, mm. they announce this thing in the order of importance. Mm. The first reason for marriage according to the Bible mm. is for mutual oh, fellowship. fellowship. And the second one is to safeguard, you know, um, uh, conjugal right. And the third one is for uh, uh, procreation. procreation. And so if you put this one the other way, mm -hmm. there is problem. 
the mm. most important reason for marriage is for mutual fellowship. Mm. And once that one is out of it, 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 it can't uh, stand mm. uh, the test of time. Yes, well, I think we can also still advise her to either move to where the man is. I think it's better. <laughs> that would be better. So if you know the man comes home once in a month, that means he's so busy. And if your own job is flexible, why don't you move? Two so weeks. that the you, two of you, you go there, you go weeks, there so you can reduce if your job is flexible, that you can have a transfer or is a business, you can move over and be with the man so that exactly. at least the two of you, uh, the family is to, together. And, you know, things. definitely there will be issues. Once your husband comes once in a while, there will be issues. But I know there will be peace in Jesus' name. Yeah. But I think you need to communicate more and, you know, talk to your man and maybe explain some things to him so that things can get better. The Lord help that home in Jesus' name. Amen. Another one says, good evening. Good work, ma. The lady I want to marry said, if I'm called by God, I'm on my own. That is, that is not called. That she's not called. Ma, what can you say? Henry from Abuja. You want to marry and... Um, the lady said, if he receives a call from God, he's on his own. <laughs> and they are not yet married. Uh, no, they are not yet married. I think that should be settled before they go to the altar. Mm. Because tomorrow, that man may be called, and there will be issue. And she has said it already. Mm. I think it's a signal. I think the woman is already seeing the, the, sign. the sign that this man is towing towards... I, know, I want to talk to the woman. What is wrong in a man being called? Mm. By the special grace of God, <laughs> I am a pastor. A mommy here is also pastor Mrs. Yeah. There is nothing wrong in doing God's work. And it's not going to stop your husband, or your husband to be, from doing it secular because that is the fear of some, some people. Some people. <laughs> By the grace of God, I am a civil engineer and I'm also a pastor. Mm -hmm. I'm not a full time, but I'm also doing God's work. Mm. Maybe you should just allow God to use this man. Mm. Uh, you know, the harvest is plenteous, but laborers are, are few. few. Allow him to do God's work and uh, mm. support him mm. prayerfully. And uh, you will have peace, uh, love, and harmony. I think I need to Jesus still name. tell Henry, thank you, sir. What you need to do is, like you have said, say Set. it, settle it once it's and for all. all. So that not tomorrow, tomorrow the woman will give you a problem. So if you explain it to the woman, oh, this is, I have a call on my life. Even though God has not told me when to start. Just start with that. If the woman is going to agree, fine. If she doesn't want agree, then there is somebody else God has prepared for you. That's that is going to help you with this work. <laughs> so there is nothing to be afraid of. Um, so good evening and thanks for your wonderful program. Please, my husband is, born, is a born again Christian, but confessed to have forcefully romanced the beast. Ah, so, okay, sorry. Forcefully romanced the breast of my maid twice when I was not around. I forgave him after some time, but occasionally anytime I see the two of them, I feel a kind of pain within me. Um, please, am I sinning or what can I do? I find it difficult to trust and love him as before. But, uh, husband uh, romancing hmm. housemaid. Hmm. That's and a the, serious issue. And the, and the housemaid is He's still, still there. in the house. The first thing is to sack that house. To send the person away. There's no need to keep her in the house. I mean, there is no... Because that is uh, eating with the devil. Exactly. And uh, maybe you should, for now, not bring in any female maid. Instead, we also have a male that, are, that can do the work. And then we also have people that will come and do and go. They will not sleep over. Mm. Mm. Because if um, you have been able to identify a problem, mm. the first thing is to... Try take that thing of. out of the way. Yeah. And then we need to speak to the heart of the, the man. Mm. If somebody is born again, mm. you have a wife, and it is the housemaid that is, you know, you are interested in, there's mm. a problem. Mm. Is the salvation genuine? Mm. What is the level of sanctification? Mm. Because what my Bible says is, he that committed sin is of the devil. Mm -hmm. For the devil sinned from the beginning. Mm. For this purpose, was the Son of God manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Mm. So you cannot be born again. You are married to your wife, mm. and your interest will be on your husband. It is totally unacceptable. Mm. So maybe the husband will have to look at his own salvation. What does he really want? Mm. 
Can a husband come out openly? Although a lot of people have thrown a uh, caution, caution to, to the, the wind. wind. Because I remember many years ago, things we are seeing now, you wouldn't come out and say it. say it openly. Mm. But now, mm. so I look at it, is it possible for a man to come out openly that is having an affair with his husband? Well, I think the man came to confess. You know, after he discovered that he has uh, gone wrong. I think, let me pick it from the angle of the woman. Um, maybe there is a little bit of carelessness for that man to have gone, you know. Thank God he didn't go far. He had gone far, but not too far. <laughs> Why am I saying this? Sometimes you see some house help dressed carelessly. Sally. And you don't correct it. The person will just wear any kind of a thing and move around. And your husband is saying this, even though he's a Christian, but he's a human, human being. being. And then maybe the man comes around, you are having a headache. Hmm. And he suppresses the body today. And here he sees... Uh, and maybe he's the house girl that is preparing all the meals. Uh, the, yeah, and the, and you know, the the, that's why I said some little delicious. carelessness. Maybe you, and when she's coming, even what she's wearing is mm. transparent. And he puts the thing down, he runs around for... And this man is just saying, oh... And maybe the wife, like we said, some women wear trousers mm -hmm. to sleep. They mm -hmm. tie their body to sleep. <laughs> the, the man is looking mm -hmm. at it. He's not seeing mm -hmm. what he mm -hmm. paid for. Exactly. Now this one, he didn't mm -hmm. pay, but he's paying mm -hmm. somehow, but uh, not the real payment uh, salary. But this one is like so also like a free of charge. Uh, yes. you know. And so the, the, the temptation mm -hmm. came, you know, for that man to, to go into that. So I think the woman also needs to sit down, down. and look at okay. where am I at fault in this? Because... You know, there is no, when, when the issue of adultery, fornication comes in, we always push it to the person yes, that is uh, uh, guilty or that yes. has fallen. Yes. But we don't look at where yes. we yes. ourselves yes. have, you know, we have failed. Yes. You know, so look at the area where you are failed. But the first thing is get rid of that yes. woman. She that sucks, lady sucks must sucks leave the, the house. house you must get rid of that woman. Whatever you can do for yourself within that time, manage and do it. Yes. If you have children, let them help you with the house chores. The ones you cannot do when you come back, you come and do it. Because putting the lady mm -hmm. there, he has confessed that he robbed the uh, breast today. Which I believe you know? the man w went further than that. Uh, but I the, want to believe. Well, but since the man <laughs> said he didn't, we don't want to go into <laughs> Since he said he didn't okay. go into that, we just want to believe that way, right. that he didn't go. But if the man has done that That's first... Right. Mind you, this lady too, the house help doesn't want to remain as an house help. Exactly. She too needs yes. a comfortable exactly. home. Exactly. This man is well to do, is well made. So if you are not ready to, I can help you. And we have seen instances whereby they pushed the madam the, the of the madam house, of the house out, out. And then and the house help also. The carelessness is what she needs to look at. She must have been a little bit careless. Exactly. And maybe she had taken the husband for granted. Like we said, he's a born again Christian. Exactly. You are saying he's a born again Christian, exactly. but he has feelings. Yes. He's a human being. Exactly. He's a human being. He sees all those things yes. going around, and you feel he should walk with his two eyes closed. If he had walked outside with his two eyes closed, mm. now he comes into the house. Yes. He's seeing it broad daylight, morning, afternoon, mm. evening. Mm. The lady is moving around, and it's like a free money. And I think the, the woman, too, should make herself more appealing to the husband. Because mm -hmm. um, uh, by his grace, I mean, man, there are some things. You know, we have some housewives, what you are not doing before, you just tie her apart, you mm. know. You know that your husband is coming home. Mm. You have an idea of when he's coming. Why not put on a transparent nice. 90 after you have had your bath? At and least then if he uh, sees any other one, exactly. your own, we cancel all that you are saying. Exactly. Yeah. And then with some uh, perfume, mm. smelling nice, mm. you know, give, give him his dinner. Mm. Already he's, he's looking at yeah, you. Yes, so already you know, his body is... He's, he's, he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, thank you so much. <laughs> this was, this, my problem is that my wife always speaks offense at will and always wanting my apology. Even when someone else provoked her, all she needs Transfer. is for me to come and tell her sorry. And I'm tired of every time sorry. You don't get tired. You know, in the uh, school of marriage, you have to keep working at it till death do you part. It's so you, have to, you just have to accept... Mm. accept it and like i always say let us 
leave this level. The Bible says, as newborn babe, mm. we must desire the sincere make of the work mm. as ye grow thereby. Mm. Now, if I don't know the, the age of your marriage, mm. if you got married and you're, you have been married for 10 years, mm. by the time you are 20, there are some things you just you overlook. Get over, get over. You overlook some yeah. of these things, mm. you know. So because love covereth multitude, multitude of, of sins. sins. Yeah, you can tell her, sorry, sorry so. doesn't remove anything from you. Even so. though sometimes you just feel irritated mm. that why am I telling her sorry? Mm. But after saying the sorry, mm. there's a time you need to let her know mm. that my dear, you don't get angry mm. over yeah, everything. everything. Even though you have, you know, mm. pacified her and the thing has mm. come down. Mm. Ah, ah, ah. Why are you always angry? Why are you always angry <laughs> now? <laughs> ah. eh? mm. I, said, you are, I said sorry, sorry, but one thing is that it's not everything. It's you have to pick on. If not, you will have problem. There's a way you pass the message yes, across to her, and she will outgrow it. Mm -hmm. She won't grow out of it immediately, but you know. And then if um, somebody is always getting angry, and like the case, I think we should work more on our sanctification. Mm. Your level of sanctification is directly proportional to the volume mm. of the word of God you have in you. Mm. Now, I'm talking from experience. Mm. By the special grace of God, I go to teach digging deep in my church. Mm. And when I look at the, the percentage of those who come to know more about the word of God, mm. and also on Sunday, uh, Sunday, Sunday school, school, there are very, very few. Mm. People begin to come into the church mm. when the praise and worship, worship has started. Gone. Such people will not grow. Mm. Your level of sanctification is directly proportional to how much of the word of God, God you have in you. you. So let's increase. Let's create that avenue to know more. Apostle Paul said that I may know mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And when you get to know him through his word, mm -hmm. you see that some of these things you just ignore and then you move on. Mm. It says, good evening, living mm -hmm. couple. Uh, please if someone got married and the man has not paid a bride price after two children. But the man is going out with another woman. He carried cutlass and axe, pursued the woman. What will the woman do? Well, I don't understand. Who is the man pursuing now? <laughs> but I think we can just pick it from, let's just take the first um, uh, phrase there, where she said, uh, the man has not paid your bride price. Um, if someone got married. I don't think if you have married, they would have paid your bride price. So you are not married. Because he said, has not paid your bride price after two children. Mommy, I've seen some like that. I got into a church. The husband and the, <coughs> the husband and wife, they, they were married. They have not done uh, introduction. They have not done engagement. They have not uh, given or but received. Do, can we call uh, that marriage? They are only cohabiting, you know, hmm. Because the person has not paid the bride price. Mommy, the constitution of Nigeria, I don't know of any other country, mm -hmm. the constitution of Nigeria recognizes three kinds of types of marriage. Number one, the one we call customary, mm -hmm. the one we, when the bridal price, price is dowry paid. is paid, yeah. is recognized mm -hmm. in our constitution. Mm -hmm. The other one is nikah, the, the Islamic, Islamic one, and the third one is statutory. Mm -hmm. All of them are recognized mm -hmm. in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But because of our faith, because we are Christians, we believe that you can't um, take a woman and she is living under your roof without, you know, you know, showing or giving uh, a, uh, what we call bridal price dowry, and that is why we we make it so. But according to the constitution, it is possible for someone to do statutory marriage and it's recognized mm -hmm. in Nigerian constitution. But because we are children of light mm. because we are God's children it is not proper and therefore what's the way out that woman again needs to uh, make the husband pay the brother price because it's very very important the devil can use it to torment the marriage I and I want to believe that's why the man is carrying cutlass and axe and pursuing you have that woman has thrown herself as a free gift to the man. Really? And if you, if you check the Bible, mm. even though Abraham did not follow the, 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 um, the servant mm. to get Rebekah mm. for, for Isaac, Isaac yeah. but when he was going, he, he, looted, he, gave, he gave him things that, and so when this servant got there, before Rebekah left, he, he, settled, settled it. he settled. So every woman should 
make your sure your family must be settled. Must be settled. Yeah. It is scriptural. Yeah. Because we are God's children. And so, uh, you, I've seen an, a, 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 an, an instance where a man had six children, you know, with this woman. Yes. But he never paid the divide price. And after the six children, he abandoned this woman, went and paid the bride price of someone else, another woman, That's and married to that one. Were they properly married before? Is this cohabiting now? It is cohabiting. It's just unfortunate. It's cohabiting. They just, you know, this nylon bag kind of marriage. You just see the man, I like you, I like you, and they, you know, we are together. Okay, he said he will pay the bride price. He will pay. He will pay. He will pay first, second, third, fourth, till the sixth. Yes. You it's know, child. The carelessness of the lady, of and the that lady. is why, ladies, we are just telling you, it's very important very, to very do the important. right thing. Don't just throw yourself it's open to any man because once you do that, he has the right. You know, he will feel he has. He doesn't have any hold on exactly. you. He has nothing to. There's nothing. He is. Uh, your parents do not even recognize him. Because once they have not paid your dowry, the, the, your, your parents can't recognize him as their in-law. Exactly. He's not an in-law to them yeah. because he's just he's nobody exactly. to them. So you need, need to do the proper thing. thing. If you are out there and your husband has not paid, paid you. please. Today, start working please on it. Please, start working on Today. it. If he's telling you they have to wait for mansions and mm -hmm. where he has a lot of money, you don't have no to way. wait for a lot. Go to your family. Go and sit down. What do you want? What are the lists? You don't need to do too mm -hmm. the ceremony and mm -hmm. things. Let that person pay. Okay. And once the person pay, he is recognized nice. in the family that is uh, an in-law. And then in his family, they see you as the wife. In the spiritual realm too, ma'am. And in the spiritual realm, God now knows, knows the that. two of you, her husband and wife. wife. So whenever you pray and you ask for things, God will answer exactly. it. He will not see you as people, you know, committing yeah. fornication exactly. or in adultery. The Lord will help as many women that are there, please do not play with it. Do not joke with it. The Lord will help us. He said, good evening. Please, what if you were married? Still, mm, sorry, please. He said, what if you are married? Mm. Still caught your wife sleeping with other men outside. You keep on warning her. She refused hearing. What will you do? Okay, I think this person is saying he's married. And the wife still goes around to sleep with other men. And she has been warning the woman and she refused hearing. What will they do? Uh, we have to keep praying and keep talking to the... But why, why will the, the woman go out to... Maybe she... The, although I'm not holding brief for the, for the wife mm. to be promiscuous, but... Um, why will a, a married woman be going outside um, a married to be getting satisfaction in uh, sexual mm. desires? Mm. Maybe the, the husband has not been doing the has right thing. Has not been thing. fulfilling, uh, yeah. Fulfilling uh, his uh, conjugal uh, mm. obligations. Mm. And then we we'll also look at it, have they been properly married? Because uh, with my little experience, with my little time in, uh, in this uh, pastoral work, I've discovered People that said they are married, they are not, a lot of people are cohabiting. Mm. And the devil takes advantage of them and allows these things to happen for them to be tormented. Mm. According to this question, mm. it's not first, second, or third time this it's woman probably correcting. has done. And uh, it's only correcting. What's the, what's the foundation? What, how, can, how can you just get Correct. to that level and the woman that the woman is going out and uh, your, everybody knows that mm. she's a free, free uh, donor? What kind of what kind of marriage <laughs> is that? May God have mercy on your marriage. Amen. amen. You need to see um, a, a men of God and conduct then, then proper deliverance. Then at the same time, how did they get married? Married. Then the wife may not be a child <laughs> of God. So, so even from what you have said, amen. you know that this woman is not a Christian. Not a Christian. When I say Christian, I'm not talking about Christian by birth or by mm. by name, but I'm talking of somebody child that is a God. child of God. Child of and God. then you know the foundation is always very important. Okay. When we talk about marriage, mm. your foundation. Like, uh, sorry, Yoruba Ade says that the wife they marry in a dancing, uh, mm. in a disco in house, house, will be watching yes. and uh, looking. That, and it is, that's that, a, that's that how they will, the, the, they will be taken away. Hmm. Because anywhere you got the wife from is the same place, you know. But what I want you to know is that there is still solution. Hmm. The solution is, you have talked, it has not worked. Okay. Have you called the people? And but the best thing is get on your knees. Yes. And pray for, pray her. for her. 
intercede for her. Since you love this woman mm -hmm. and you want her, you know, as your wife, you go and talk to God that created her, that please, Father, mm -hmm. intervene. Mm -hmm. Save us. Once God saves her, yes. all these other yes. things will yes. just be past tense. Exactly. It will no longer occur. So I will advise you, mm -hmm. you have talked it has yes. not worked, but prayer can work. Prayer and can prayer work. will do that work for you. Amen. So what can I do? Because I married a woman that has no interest in spiritual things. Marrying someone w that doesn't want spiritual things, but the spiritual controls the physical. How, how, how do you want to advance? I don't understand the spiritual things. things. Is it, you know, Is there it? are some sisters that don't no, want their husbands to uh, maybe go to the extreme. Okay. They believe fanatics, fanatics fanatism. Okay. But if you are marrying somebody that, before you, once you see <laughs> a man, you will know that this one is this. Mm -hmm. So, but at the same time, I think I will say something. You say she doesn't have an interest in spiritual things. How did you live your life or how are you living your life? your life? Sometimes mm -hmm. the way you live, the person will just look at it and say, is this Christianity? Exactly. Double standard. Double standard. When they see you, you outside, else. they see you as a holy man of God. They see home. you as a holy brother. Yeah. And when you come home, you are just opposite. And so the woman yeah, will look at it okay. and say, I, I'm if just not interested. If this is how Christianity this, is all about, I let, me, let me interested. remain. So when you say, let's go, he said, no. Let's pray, he said, no. I think our conduct should preach more. Yeah. To say who we really are, not what we say. Because we are the Bible, people are reading. Exactly, our conduct. So if you are saying she doesn't have interest in spirit, so what have you done? Change your conduct. Check what you have done and find out what, before you married her, she must have shown interest, interest. in spiritual things. And after marriage, she's now saying, she's now and showing she no interest. interest. So where did something, the problem come from? Is wrong somewhere. You need to sit down and look at it. Don't just conclude, mm -hmm. you know. And you know, women are very, how will I put it this way? We are emotional people. And we read things. We read in between study. lines. We study, we, we study read. Yeah. And so when a man is doing some study. things and the woman is getting irritated, irritated, I tell you, sometimes you say pray, she will just... Keep quiet. What prayer? Well, what are you praying? This man has not, uh, you has have not, not even uh, shown. He has not shown he has, anything. He has not laid the foundation, foundation for us to For us to, so you are now telling me to pray. And when you see those signs, you now conclude, so are, this one is not spiritual not enough. Meanwhile, if you work on yourself, so. you will help that woman. You will discover that the spirit inside of her is far greater than what you are seeing. So exactly. please don't just conclude. Don't just look at things, you know, from the physical and conclude. The Lord will help us. So God, good evening, Pastor. And mommy is in the house. Please, uh, is it a sin to have sex with your spouse when fasting? My husband do ask, but I do tell him that we are on reading fasting now. Am I being wicked or what? If it's a long fasting, the question is, is your husband also fasting? Mm -hmm. Let's assume it's not fasting. Maybe... He allows you to attend the redeemed Christian Church of God, and we are fasting. And we are on thirty days. Mm. Although some people did ten days, but we are on thirty days. If it's a long fasting, as we are doing now, after breaking the fast, if your husband asks for sex, mm. give it to him. Mm. I, I would advise you to to just allow him. Mm. You are not you are not committing any sin. Any sin. In fact, he has he has been magnanimous to, to have allow allowed him. you. Because some husband will say, which fast? So <laughs> when I'm not fasting. Him. When I'm not fasting, <laughs> say which fast? <laughs> if he understands with you, then mm. you need to also understand, understand with him. Uh, he said, good evening. Now, please, what should I do? My husband drinks alcohol and does not want to go to the church and befriends women. And when I talk to him, he said he is doing the same as his father. And if I don't wake him up for prayer, he wouldn't. So whenever I'm weak to pray, it means there will be no prayer throughout the day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What prayer are you praying? It's basic. The Bible says, by their fruit, we shall do what? We, we shall, shall know, know them. them. This man, is the prayer this man needs is the prayer of salvation. salvation. Yeah. If the man is born again, mm. You can't tell, I always tell people, you don't tell someone, stop smoking. That's not mm -hmm. the solution. Stop mm -hmm. drinking. Mm -hmm. The solution is, Salvation. let him be, be born again. If he's born again, the Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he will be a new, new creature. creature. All things will be gone and something new you will You want start. him to be interested in spiritual yes, matters when it's not spiritual. He must be born again. It's not spiritual. It's not spiritual. So you, and you want him to do the spiritual things. Mm -hmm. It will be difficult for him to accept that. She even added that he was not lying 
before, but now he lies. Oh, uh, well, that is just part of the Adamic nature, yes. the sinful nature of man. But the most important salvation. thing is salvation. Salvation will solve that problem. Yes. And I know God will save his soul, even as he's hearing tonight you know, in uh, Jesus' uh, name. Zacchaeus, when he had an encounter with the Lord Jesus, he made up his mind. He said everything he had collected through dubious means, he will return how many fold in that fold. Mm. So when he, uh, after he had an encounter, mm. On his uh, own, he decided to restitute. Yeah. So your husband will restitute if mm. he's born again today. Yeah. I know that for sure. Don't say because you are born again, he's drinking mm. now. You begin to don't drink. It doesn't make but him easy. Like, and moreover, you have discovered that it runs yeah, in the family. family. The so man you told must, you, you must that he's doing what that his father did. did. So you should know that this is not just uh, uh, what you want to talk about. Mm. You need salvation, salvation. And you need to work on it. And God will save his soul. Amen. That is why you are in the house. You are the Esther planted in that house to save his So soul. the prayer that woman should be doing anytime you wake up to pray, say, God, save, save the soul, soul of my husband. Amen. Save and the God soul will, and God, and God, God will do answer. it. Good evening. What can be done to the wife who left her duty, failed to put the food on the table, but taking her time to watch movies like Z World? Hmm. Each time I try to correct her, she turns it to fight. Hmm. Z word. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. You know, there are spirit behind some of these uh, stations. Mm. You know, in a situation where, uh, whereby a housewife is failing in her responsibility. Mm. I, pray, I pray for you, please repent today. Amen. Because this man loves you. Mm. Otherwise, on his way from work, we just branch. There are so many men, they will just branch, branch at a, as a purpose joint or whatever. Mm. And before you know it, that's how you are just opening door to mm. a strange woman. Mm. Please repent. Mm. Prepare food for your husband, make him comfortable so that um, he will not go out to go and eat another woman's food. Mm. The, film, you know, the film, you can still watch it again and again if you want to watch the film, but at least you should pay attention to the man when he comes home. The man is trying to just let you know mm. that your duty comes first. Yes. And when television is becoming your husband, husband. Yeah. then it's going to be a problem yeah. because when that man is gone, the television so cannot do what that. the man, mm. you know, will, will need to do Keep for you. For so please let us um, put things in order. So good evening, brothers and sisters. He says, sister, sister said a lot about men keeping concubines. Mm. What happened with David and Solomon? Is theirs not sin? To be dangerous to be using uh, David and Solomon as example, mm. as uh, something you want to hide behind mm -hmm. for promiscuity. But the truth of the matter is, the consequences of the actions of uh, David and Solomon how many people are ready to bear? Mm. The Almighty God told David that the, uh, the something of sword will not depart from his, uh, from his home. Mm. And it manifested. His first son, Amnon, mm. was killed. Yeah. The second son, mm -hmm. Absalom, was, was killed. Found. The third one, uh, Adonijah. Mm. Adonijah. David lost three solid yes. great men. Mm. And you don't, you don't want to... Um, have that kind of experience. Yeah. What about Solomon? Even when he said Solomon, how yeah. did Solomon, did he enjoy the women he got married to? <laughs> married to. The, he said, you know, he said here now the Man, conclusion of the whole matter. matter. The summary. The summary. <laughs> In fact, he said, you know, after, he, he, because if you read the book of Ecclesiastes, <laughs> he said it all. Vanity, vanity upon vanity. Upon vanity. He said, all, all is, is vanity. vanity. So you can't use... And their, here that you are talking about Solomon, do you know it was those women that drifted his heart away from God? That's what the Bible says. Turned their turned, face. Turned. Turned. He started worshipping the idol. Idol, idol worshiping. worshiping. So why yeah. do you want to so, follow that kind of an <laughs> example? That. Jesus has come to show us the way. Exactly. He said, I am the way, the truth, truth and the and life. life. Follow Jesus and all will be well. Amen. He said, um, good evening to you. Please, I have been married for a year and seven months with two kids. The first one is a year and four months. The second is just a month now. And in this one year, and in this one year, seven months, my husband has cheated with me, maybe on me twice. I think it may be more, but this, this, 
But this, he said, I caught, I caught him. I have forgiven. I have forgiven him. But any time we make love, I feel irritated. And I remember everything. What should I do to get it off my mind? You have to forgive. You just have to forgive. Mm. The Lord Jesus said it 70 times, 70 times mm. a day. Mm. You have to forgive and uh, pray for him. Mm. Uh, if your marriage is just a year and uh, you have had two babies mm. uh, within uh, one year and seven months mm. and your husband has been cheating, mm. you have to pray for him mm. and uh, forgive him to start with yeah. so that you'll be able to your God will be able to answer your prayers. Mm, then I, and then I, talk to him one-on-one. Mm. -on -one. What else does he want? But then, then, you know, she is saying that she feels irritated. I just want to, to let you know that there is nothing wrong with you. Psychologically, it's not easy See. to get that off your mind. mind. So as you heal, those things will begin to, mm. you know, play down gradually. But the most important thing is for that man not to repeat it what he has done. Exactly. Once he has asked for forgiveness yes. and he's no longer going Genuinely to do the genuine repented. repentance, you know, and he's there, you, we, we are human beings. Mm -hmm. There's no way if somebody does something to you, he's already, you know we are computer, he's yes. stored. <laughs> the thing just, brrr, uh -huh. it comes back. But how you now yeah, react yeah, to it, it is one matter. Mm -hmm. When we talk about forgiveness, it's not that you won't remember, mm -hmm. but how do you feel? Yeah. You know, but I want to let you know that there is a process, there is a healing process that you need to go through. True. It's not that something is wrong with you, but gradually, and as those things are coming to your mind, you'll be telling yourself, I've forgiven him. Let the past be the past, past, and I need to move, move forward. forward. And it will really help you. Amen. It's not easy, it's, it's not easy, but I know with God, it, you, will, you will get over it. Amen. He said, good evening, a couple, we are... Okay, good evening. We said, where the husband has lost his job and self-esteem and has now resorted to beating the wife, what should she do? The husband should not uh, transfer his aggression. Aggression. Um, there's always a way out and um, she should not just uh, come and transfer the aggression on the wife. Mm. Ah, may God just have mercy. A lot Amen, of people no. are going through this a now. A lot are happening these days, a lot. A lot. And at the same uh, time, the wife should try to so reduce the stress around the man. man. Mm. He doesn't so have the money. And you know a man, once a man does not have money. money. <laughs> hey. Hey. Any little thing. Any little thing. Is it you me know? you are talking to like that? <laughs> you know, you really and maybe the woman has money Money now. You know? She, she and maybe he's asking together. for, maybe when he asks for this, the mm. woman will use the anger more to, mm. and instead of, you know, the man just transfer the aggression, aggression and, you know, beat the butt. Mm. What we can just advise you to do is that just try as much as possible to make sure there is no tension. Those things that can make him beat you, you try to avoid it. I don't let your mouth, you know, when you see that he's getting angry, you see that you move away from where he is. Or you keep quiet. Or you keep quiet. Just put water in your mouth and make sure you don't swallow it. <laughs> and that will be it. And if you are that buoyant, mm. you can help the man. You can help the man start a business. Yeah. You are, yeah. You are one. There are some people that you will even know that their husband and lost their, their job. job. The wife will carry the responsibility, responsibility. and everything yeah. will go well. Okay. So, please, I need you to just help. The, you, you, you are together. You don't have to leave the man alone. Ah, this one says, is it right for a dowry to be paid to the church? No. Mm -hmm. And is it right church. to exclude yourself from your kindred because you are a Christian? No. How, how will they come to uh, Jesus you know? You don't severe your, yourself from your family members. Mm -hmm. In fact, the best way is um, you are a child of light. When they have meetings, you go there as a child of light. Mm. A little light in the midst of darkness mm. will illuminate the place. And people will know that indeed you are yeah, different. Yeah. And the light that you are carrying will influence others. Mm. By the special grace of God, my wife has been able to influence so many in her family. Mm. I happen to be one of them, mm. my younger brother, and mm. some other people too. Yeah. So you go there, you don't severe the relationship. You severe the relationship you have because a responsibility. you're a Christian. Yes. Does not mean you should run away from, from your, your family. family. And then you don't pay bright price to the church. Church, church has nothing, nothing to do to with do bright with price. price. That is the family, family issue, and it church. must be handled by the family. family. 
Yeah. Good evening, sir. I'm Ma. I am Mr. Sunday Akoni. As a Christian, is it good to tell your wife your income, like your salary? Again, it depends on how you started. Mm. In my home, we pull resources together. Mm. Everything we do, even the checks, she's a signatory to, to the checkbook. So if you started as one, this question will not arise. So everything, um, that's what people don't know. In marriage, the Bible said they were both naked. Mm. So why would your spouse not know how much you, you are, are earning? earning? It means you are not both naked. It means it's some Christian life. Mm. We are talking about Christian marriage here. Mm. So if it's a Christian marriage, the resources should be put together. together. Even the other uh, question we were trying to analyze, mm -hmm. the man that lost his job, mm. if they have been pulling Putting resources, resources together, together, there, 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 there will be a problem. Yeah. They will and, have covered uh, up for each yes. other. And uh, if, uh, we, in, in most cases, we have some husband, they hide the, their income from their wife. If your wife does not know how much is coming She will in, make more requests She than will necessary. make more requests. So it's, 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 it's not going to pay off at the end of the day. Uh -huh. So the best way to do it is from that passage where the Bible says they were both, both naked. naked. Nothing is hidden, including income. Mm. And... Lastly, before we go, because our time is fast spent, it's already running, uh, I would just want to add to that that uh, I'm not saying all, who, but women are managers. So when they you are let good her managers. Know, yeah, thank you, sir. <laughs> so when you let her know <laughs> what you have, she will help you to manage it so that you can achieve exactly. a lot. I'm not saying all, who, I'm not saying all women, but at least the Christian yeah. woman, a, a Christian woman, will know how to manage, manage. you. So this is where we'll draw the curtain today. It's been nice having you again on this program. Mm. We want to really appreciate you, sir. Thank you, For ma. coming. Thank and you, then for all our viewers at home, we want to appreciate you. We want to thank you for your comments, for the messages you've been sending to us and your encouragement. We know that the Lord will continue to uphold us all in Jesus' name. Amen. And for those that just maybe just came in and we're about rounding up and you're wondering what it is, you can still check on our social media. You can like us on Facebook. You can check us on YouTube. Twitter, Instagram, and you will see all our recorded um, episodes. And I know as you watch, the Lord will bless you. And to our sisters that are not here, I know they are watching us where they are. We are saying shout out to you, Sister Femi, Femi. Sister Gold. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want to say that keep watching Living Couple because I know God will do something great, something wonderful mm -hmm. in your life. But before we go, let us just quickly take a prayer. Daddy Lord, once again, we are grateful for starting with us Thank and you are winding down with us. Yes, Lord. Daddy Lord, please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every question that has been answered and all those homes that they are thinking, how will this my husband change? Mm. How will this my wife change? Mm. By virtue of watching tonight, that change has come. Amen. That peace has come. Amen. That joy has come. Amen. That abundance has come. Amen. Receive it now. Amen. Thank you, Almighty Thank God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Thank you, Amen. all our crew members. We want to appreciate you, the cameramen, everyone working behind the, the screen. We want to appreciate you. We pray that the Lord will bless us all in Jesus' name. So keep watching, living couple, till we come again your way, same time next week. God bless you.